Hello, Citizens Councilor Giancarlo Carra here, uh, Ward 9 TV. And what I want to talk about today is residential speed limits and the base speed limit in the city of Calgary. Now, recently, committee, Transportation and Transit Committee, heard and passed most of the recommendations from administration, um, but it was highly contested and in the community, there's a lot of contestation about what it is that's before us and what we're trying to do. And so I want to give a little bit of an overview here so everyone understands that this isn't coming out of the blue. This is a very well thought out approach to city building and that this fits very neatly with great neighborhoods. I also want to talk about how the ultimate decision is coming to council on November 2nd. And we do need to hear from you because as I said, uh, it's still contested on council and it really shouldn't be. And counselors need to hear from citizens in order to make the right decision. So let's just back up a little bit. And uh, let's start with Vision Zero. Vision Zero is an international movement that has emerged over the last couple decades that has taken the, that, that, that's established as its um, mission in life, getting traffic related deaths in cities to zero. And uh, that's why they say Vision Zero. Obviously, that's an aspiration. It's going to be very hard to do. But there's a lot of com countries in the world, particularly in Northern Europe, who have committed to Vision Zero principles, and they are really bending the curve. The basic idea is that if you had a factory that um, maimed and killed people the way our road systems do in cities, that factory would be out of business operational safety and standards, we wouldn't allow that to happen. And yet somehow we've all collectively accepted a world in which people get injured, property gets destroyed, and people die with the simple act of moving around the city. And we know that we can actually change that outcome by changing the rules and building a better city for everyone. This pin that I'm wearing is uh, the Transportation Engineering Association's uh, acknowledgement of the decade of road safety and that's 2011 to 2020 and what it represents is a change in thinking about transportation engineering the old approach to transportation engineering was that we basically had to move cars around the city the new approach is that we have to move people around the city using cars transit walking biking other means and it's about choosing the right tool for the right trip uh, it's also about the fact that cars and people and kids on bikes uh, don't interact well unless they're being thoughtfully put together. The old school thinking was that when you were moving a car through the city, uh, if the speed limit that you were going to post on your street was 50 kilometers an hour, you should design the road to be safe at 70 kilometers an hour. And that way there was some buffer room in case somebody was not being a good actor and was speeding. What we now realize is that people don't drive the posted speed limit, they, they drive the design speed limit of the road. And so if you post for 50, but you design for 70, then you have everybody driving between like 80 and 60 kilometers an hour on a 50 kilometer per hour road. What we also know is that speed kills. People drive as fast as they feel comfortable. Once they reach that sort of buffer of not feeling comfortable, they start to pay attention. Sometimes uh, that's too fast to make a difference if there's something that happens, something darts out in front of the street, you don't pay attention for a second and the turn turns out to be a little bit too aggressive. And so the revolution that's taking place in transportation engineering is A, we have to design our cities for all mobility and they have to interact well, and B, uh, speed kills. And when we are allowing speed, we have to be very thoughtful about where and how we do that. And when we're talking about quiet residential neighborhoods, uh, the saying in the United States, the saying in Britain is 20 is plenty and 20 miles per hour is 30 kilometers per hour. And the reason why they're choosing that uh, number is a variety of reasons. Reason number one, most residential neighborhoods are small enough that driving at 20 miles or 30 kilometers per hour through it uh, takes a certain amount of time where you don't start to get aggravated and you don't put the pedal down because you know your car can go a lot faster. You can actually be thoughtful about maintaining that speed. 
20 kilometers per 20 miles per hour 30 kilometers per hour is actually perfectly safe if there is a human car collision at 30 kilometers per hour uh, one in ten people will die 90 percent of people will survive that and you know if you're driving at 30 kilometers an hour chances are the strike takes place at lower than that because you are reacting and, and it's and it's it's even less dangerous so the number of accidents goes down and the severity of the accidents go down at 50 kilometers an hour which is the posted speed limit on all streets in Calgary unless is it's the default speed limit unless otherwise posted if you get hit by a car at 50 kilometers an hour uh, there is a 90 percent chance that you will die and so the curve is flat until you get to 30 kilometers per hour and then it jumps up and then it's flat after that and that's really where the good work can take place we also know that at 30 kilometers per hour you can feel comfortable as a parent having your kids play street hockey or toot around on their bikes and neighborhood life becomes a lot more livable and and as you know great neighborhoods is all about creating great neighborhood life higher order roads are absolutely necessary but in our tight little bu bubbles it makes sense the, the, the final thing is we also know that because people don't spaz out driving a short distance at 30 kilometers per hour because that's the basic size of a residential neighborhood we also know that it impacts the average commuter commute in Calgary by only seconds. It's, it's a minor, minor impact to your commute. So you're trading a much more enjoyable neighborhood life for you and your neighbors for a couple extra seconds of time on your commute. And, and it strikes a better balance between wanting to be able to get around the city and wanting to enjoy your community. I can tell you that when your city council met after knocking on doors in 2017, we, uh, we talked about what we heard at the doors and every single member of council reported hearing at the doors in huge numbers from people the fact that they wanted cars to travel slower in front of their homes and that makes sense uh, the trade-off of course is that if people are driving slower in front of your home you probably have to drive slower in front of their home but again that 30 kilometer per hour bubble inside neighborhoods makes sense uh, we were awarded uh, by the province and through our advocacy efforts and point five of great neighborhoods is a better uh, and more long lasting relationship intergovernmentally in order to build a great city of great neighborhoods. We established a charter with the NDP government. Most of that charter was um, uh, acknowledged and appreciated by the UCP government and uh, what one of the one of the powers that was devolved from the province to uh, a large municipality like Calgary and Edmonton in Alberta was the right to set our own default speed limit in the province of Alberta it's 50 kilometers per hour since that it's always been 50 kilometers an hour now we have the right to set it lower and so a conversation began amongst council about whether this was the time to strike a better balance between getting around the city and enjoying your neighborhood. It went through a lot of iterations. There's obviously the downturn impacted it, a bunch of other things. And finally, after coming to council and going back for more detail, coming to council, administration brought forward a report last week to transportation and transit. And it said, okay, we think that the default speed limit should be reduced to 40. We think that that 40 should take effect on most neighborhood roads, uh, but most neighborhood collectors, which are a higher order street to get people you know, out of their neighborhood and to and from places, should stay at 50. The other thing it said though is, however, based on the data, we know that 30 kilometers per hour makes more sense for uh, the internal neighborhood streets, and we know 40 kilometers makes more sense for those neighborhood collectors, not the higher order roads, but just those internal, internal neighborhood streets. And so what we want you to do is we want you to set it for 40, allow 50 on the collectors right now, until such a time as we can engineer the speed, the design speed on those roads, which remembers sometimes around 70 kilometers an hour to something lower than 50. The final clause in the three part report said, give us the right to, when we're working with developers in new communities on the edge of the city or when we're retrofitting existing neighborhood streets to design for a 30 kilometer on the internal neighborhood streets and a 40 kilometer per hour speed on 
on the, on the neighborhood collectors. The first two passed. The second one failed on a 5-5 tie. And what I'm doing between now and November 2nd is really leaning on my colleagues and making sure that we can get that vote over the line because that is the, that's the single most important thing we can do moving forward. My personal belief is that all unlined streets in the city of Calgary should be a base speed of 30. All lined streets should be a base of 40 unless signed higher, 50, 60, 70, 80. We don't have the right to do that right now. It would be ideal if the province gave us that right. But in the meantime, the report that's before us is good and we have to get all three clauses over the line. So I hope that you agree that we need to balance moving around the city effectively and enjoying our communities. I hope you're committed to a vision zero and uh, I hope that you will reach out to members of council and make it very clear to them that all three clauses, 40 today is the base speed limit on neighborhood streets, 50 on the collectors until we can engineer them to a slower speed, and 30, 40 for all retrofits is the way to go. This is John Carlo Carra signing off.